read the information or statements given in each question carefully and answer the questions. In which of the following expressions will the expression h less than j be definitely true? h should be less than j. h should be less than j. Here if you see h is greater than or equal to j. So first one is wrong. h is greater than j. Second one is wrong. h is less than j. Yes. Third one you find that h is less than j. h less than g less than or equal to i. Anyway j is equal to i so you can interchange these two. So h less than g, g less than or equal to i. So definitely S, H is less than J. So third option is the answer, right? Simple. I mean, in fact, a simpler format when compared to the regular coding and decoding questions, right? Here also is H less than J wrong. So any anyway, answer is option three. Next question. Which of the following expressions will be true if this is definitely true? So this is a statement. Now, which of these conclusions are correct is the question. N less than or equal to K n less than or equal to k no n cannot be less than or equal to k n will be less than k it cannot be less than or equal you're able to follow n will be less than k it cannot be less than or equal k equal to m no this anyways ruled out k less than no impossible because k starts with greater than you see k greater than anything there right so k less than n is not possible l greater than or equal to n l greater than or equal to n is also wrong because l is greater than n i think none of this is the answer option five right none is true none of this is true simple questions it's like cakewalk right which of the following expressions will be true if this is definitely true so again similar format q less than k q less than k no q will be greater than k see t is greater than k and t is equal to q so q greater than k so first one is wrong m greater than or equal to t no m and t cannot be compared m less than q m and q cannot be compared right rule number three remember rule number three dissimilar inequalities between m and q right so cannot be compared t equals to m no so again the answer is option five none is true right here's the next one which of the following expressions may not be true if the expression this is definitely true so this time i'll give you 30 seconds and your time starts now here's the question 30 seconds, your time starts now. Got it? How is one correct? We'll get to know which one is correct. Which one, which one are you talking about? Anyway, let's, let's look at the solution for this one. Which of the following expressions may not be true? Remember, it should not be true if this expression is definitely true so this is the statement this is a statement but which of this may not be true so we have to find out which is not true right w less than or equal to z now this is clearly correct see w is equal to y y is less than or equal to z so obviously w less than or equal to z so this is true but i want something which is not true so first one is wrong you're getting it x less than or equal to z again if you see x less than or equal to z this may not be true why when you compare x with z you find that there are dissimilar inequalities you see greater than symbol greater than symbol then less than symbol you know from x to z and you know that the moment there are dissimilar inequalities the two variables cannot be compared x and z cannot be compared what does it mean it means x can be greater than z this is not looking like greater than sorry x greater than z x can be less than z or x can be equal to z all the three are possible but what is given here x less than or equal to z how will he know that how does he know that it's not possible right it need not be true that's that is the point these are possibilities x can be less than z or x can be equal to z possibility but it need not be true right so option two is your answer that's it and now that we have got what the which expression is not true we need not worry about the remaining options so option two is the correct here, correct answer here. Next one, I think this is the last question of the paper today. Look at this. It says in which of the following expressions does the expression a greater than d hold true? So here the conclusion has been given. We have to find out which statement is correct. A greater than d, first one is wrong. A is less than d. Here also a less than anything, right? So wrong. A less than no see the moment you see a less than something less than or equal to you know that it cannot be greater 
I mean, the greater connection cannot come at all. So that is the reason straight away you can eliminate third option. Fourth option, A greater than D, yes. I think in fourth option, when you compare A with D, you get A is greater than D. So option four. And in option five, you know that A and D cannot be compared because we have dissimilar inequalities, right? So A cannot be compared with D. Option four is the answer, right? Option four is the answer. 